I'm Ian Dale, and with me today I have the former Prime Minister, Lady Thatcher. Now, Lady Thatcher, knowing of your love of everything European, what, what, what did you make of the European election results? I think the first mistake was not negotiating on Europe. Now, my policy on Europe was very, very simple. I took with me a European phrase book that said no in 39 languages. And that was very, very successful. And the Labour Party would get a better result if they could say no in Portuguese to that dreadful man that runs the place. I can't remember his name. You would probably know well, What do you think of UKIP? Because it reminds me of your famous phrase, UKIP if you want to. <laughs> I don't normally laugh because I had my sense of humour removed. An NHS hospital. Very, very good. Um, I do think the way to negotiate in Europe is very, very simple. You go in there and you say, if you don't agree with me, I shall pull out your arm socket and hit you with a soggy end. And that tended to get the way in Europe. Now, what advice would you give to Gordon Brown at the moment? Resign. And that's it? No, you I don't think, think he should fight on and fight to win? Fight on, fight to win. Do you know, I've heard that somewhere before. Mm. It ended in tears, but that's another matter. Poor Gordon Brown. Do you know, Gordon Brown always smiles first thing in the morning, just to get it over with. He <laughs> does. And do you know, I think if they put him on eBay, nobody would want him, really. And you know, it's a shame, isn't it? It's a shame. Now, you had a willy. Obviously, I had willy white. Yes. Oh. I wish the viewers... The viewers to understand what we're talking about, Lord Whitehall, a wonderful, wonderful man. Well, now Gordon Brown has got his own willy, uh, Lord Mandelson. <laughs> well, that's one word for him, certainly. I can think of a few others myself. Lord Mandelson, there is a shiver looking for a spine to crawl down, isn't he? Mm. Do you know, he said to me the other day, because I do go to the, the house and so on, he said to me, he said, Margaret, he said, why do people take an instant dislike to me? I said, well, it saves so much time, you know. And, and Alastair Darling, he's a charismatic figure. Uh, he's doing a great job as Chancellor, don't you think? A great job as Chancellor! Yes, Nigel Lawson was excellent. And Geoffrey. Unassailable, Hull. indeed. Unassailable. Unassailable. Very nautical term we're using this morning, just a day. Now, do, do you think that uh, Gordon Brown should call an election now, as David Cameron is suggesting? David Cameron? I've never met him. I see him, though, in Parliament. He's very friendly, isn't he? Very, very friendly. Always going around in shirt sleeves. Do you mind me saying so? I think he's a little bit over-friendly, a bit too friendly. Uh, David Cameron is the sort of man, you know, that would called John the Baptist Jack. And I think you need a bit of discipline, a bit of discipline. And if Gordon Brown calls an election, and if the Labour Party win, then there's no alternative but have another election until we get it right and re-elect a Conservative government. I think that is what, that is all the country is crying out for. We are in this credit crunch at the moment. Now let me tell you, Ian, may I call you Ian? Do you know, if I were Prime Minister, it would be Sir Ian by now. I just want you to know that on a personal level. Soon to be Please let me government. finish, it's an important point. You do keep, don't you come those Robin Day tactics with me, young man. Don't do it. Let I've me got my handbag, it's still, you, it's still very, very active in my handbag. What was I saying? The credit crunch. The Labour government does not understand the value of saving. That's the problem. People have overspent. I remember my father drilled into me the importance of saving. Because every Friday night, he would give myself and my sister Muriel two sixpences. And he made us go down into the cellar and put those sixpences in a little tin box. I later discovered this was the gas meter. But that didn't matter. The principle of saving was there. And just finally, how would you address the issue of expenses? Because people are blaming you for the fact that you didn't put any salaries No, 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 no. That is not my fault. I think what Gordon Brown has done one very, very good thing. He has set up a committee to decide what the problem is. But then again, I think that committee already exists. 
It's called a fraud squad. Surely now's the time for business people to become even more interested in politics than they already were. I think that's absolutely true. And you know, I did hear about this marvellous internet site called Business and Politics. I do hope people go there. It's very, very important. They're going there in their thousands, can you believe? That'll be 20 grand, please. <laughs>